Hey everybody, welcome back to another magic review from Hocus-Pocus.com. My name is David and this is a brand new book. This is called A New Angle. A New Angle and it's by Ryan Plunkett and Michael Feldman. This book is published by Magic Incorporated and it costs $45 retail. Now, what is this book? What is A New Angle? And why would you care about a brand new magic book? Let me tell you. Uh, a New Angle, uh, the title is kind of a play on words, Angle kind of what uh, you're thinking about should be uh, gravitating towards. Uh, it's a card trick book, book on gaff cards, especially the tapered deck. The tapered deck, uh, more commonly, uh, we call it a stripper deck, right? We call it a stripper deck on the streets, but it's uh, also called uh, a tapered deck. It's also called a shaved deck or a wizard deck, okay? Uh, and this book is a hardback book, 155 pages. That's right, 155 pages on the stripper deck. All right, so like I said, written by Ryan Plunkett and Michael Feldman. Uh, you got beautiful photographs in here from James Murphy. Uh, this book, and the reason why it's important and the reason why I think uh, you should know about it is, is that it combines brand new subtleties, brand new sleight of hand, and a whole bunch of new ideas on the stripper deck. And I think the stripper deck is something we all own, but we don't use it. And Ryan and Michael are gonna show you how to do just crazy awesome tricks in ways that you haven't even thought about yet, okay? So they're gonna invite you into this. They're gonna invite you into this project that they've been working on and, and allow you to pick up that stripper deck, dust it off and start blowing people away. I mean, I, maybe you're like me, maybe you're like me. I, I mean, when I was young, when I was a kid, I remember the stripper deck being one of the very first gaff decks, magic tricks I ever had. You know, uh, I had that blue, what was it, the Dillon's automatic deck. Did you have that one? I mean, you could get them now at the dollar store, but I mean, way back then it was like this cheap paper deck that was a stripper deck, but it was also a reader back. And, uh, and it was, I mean, there were bridge sized cards. It was terrible. And then I remember getting my first bicycle stripper deck and just being like, wow, this is awesome. And, but then, you know what? I had, I had a, a couple of books that taught some tricks on how to use it but they were kind of always the same. You know, it was always like have a card selected, reverse the deck, strip it out, find it. And it wasn't anything earth shattering. And, and, I, and I think it kind of gets tossed to the side. And we kind of think of the stripper deck as being like kids magic or, or being like beginner level magic. And if I said, you know, what tricks do you do with the stripper deck? You'd be like, I don't use that. The magic in this is insane. All right. It's going to fry your brain. And I think it's going to force you to look at the deck in a brand new way. And I know what you're thinking. A $45 book for a stripper deck is ridiculous because I could just buy the Encyclopedia of Card Magic and I could get over 40 tricks for $13. So why would I spend the money on this? Well, I would say it's because you've never seen tapered deck tricks that look this good. All right, so why is this book cool? Why is it cool? Well, it's a collection of thoughts and principles and techniques that are regarding the tapered deck that you've never even thought about. And this is one of the exciting things about magic in general, I think, is that once in a great while, someone or some ones, right, a couple of guys come along and they force you to take something old and to look at it in a brand new way. And when that comes along, I think we all get excited. And I think that's what they have created here with this book. Why is a stripper deck cool? Let me tell you why it's cool. Because it's a gimmick deck that does more than one thing. Most gimmick decks, most gaff decks you buy today, they might cost you $45, they only do one thing. You're carrying an entire deck around in your pocket that only does one trick. It only does one punch. Stripper deck does every single trick that you can think of with a card deck, right? It's a regular deck of cards. You could just take it and do regular card tricks with it any old day of the week. But then the stripper deck has this unique like light switch ability that you can just click it over to the other side and it becomes a gaff deck right? It's, it's both. It's a deck of cards that you can do any card trick you want, but then you could also do these amazing stripper deck miracles with it. And so I think that is something that, you can't do that with a Sengali deck. You can't use it as a regular deck. You can use it as a 50, 50 deck. You can use it as a one way forcing deck, but you can't use it as a regular deck, right? So that's what makes the stripper deck so unique. That's what makes this book unique. That's what makes this project unique. So yes, there's new tricks in there. Yes, obviously there's new tricks in there, new ways of looking at it, but not just new tricks. There's new everything, new everything. I watched Ryan perform a few of these tricks. And even though I knew while I was watching it, he's using a tapered deck, even though I knew the strip out move, I knew what to watch for. Ryan still blew me away, probably more so because I'm already familiar with the deck. 
right? I knew what he was using and he was still knocking me out of the park. At least I thought I knew what I was looking for. So yeah. So what are you going to get? What are you going to get inside the table of contents? Uh, in this book, the authors are going to discuss all the mis conceptions associated with tapered decks. You'll get a whole chapter about the cut of the deck and how to make your own deck with a card trimmer. Uh, in the book, you're also going to get 23 plots plus a whole lot of extras that either continue where the, that trick left off or it's going to take that trick in a new direction. So in the write-up, you'll get the perfect combination of both technical and humor, plus you're never going to get lost. In other words, you're not going to read a section and then reread it thinking, okay, what did I just read? Like, it's, they're very clear in how they write things out. Uh, plus, I think it's kind of funny that the imaginary spectators in this are always named Leia and Rachel. Did I mention 23 tricks? Did I mention that? 23 tricks. 23 tricks. Here's a couple that I pulled out at random. Uh, there's a trick in there called Collect Yourself, uh, where three spectators all select cards. The cards are then lost. The deck is shuffled. Then the aces appear in the selections in between them. Awesome. There's a trick in there called Shuffle Up, I guess, Redo. Uh, so you shuffle the cards, show them shuffled, and then place them in the card box. Then you hand this card box to your spectator. They shake the card box just to ensure that they're there. But when you reopen the tuck case and the cards are spilled out, they are in new deck order. Then there's a trick in there called Twin Peaks. This effect allows you to know the identity of any card your spectator peeks at as you riffle the corners. There's a, a color changing deck routine in there. There's a trick in there called Trick Play where you fan 12 to 15 cards for the spectator and you have them think of any card. And then the spectator does that and when the cards are spread out again, only one card is reversed and it's their thought of card. Um, and there's not just uh, tricks uh, in there from the authors. You're going to get tricks from Nathan Caldwell, Frank Fogg, Brian O'Neill, Lance Pierce, and Harapin Ong. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I love books, you know I love hardback books. I'm always making an argument that you need to build a magic library at home. And I think if this excites you, if this is interesting uh, to you, I think you should definitely add this book to cart. And while you're at it, buy a brand new stripper deck. Add that too. You should have a brand new stripper deck and the book side by side as you read this book together. Like I said, it's going to blow your mind and it's going to blow your spectators' minds. All right, so that's my review for a new angle. Uh, like I said, Ryan Plunkett, Michael Feldman, Magic Incorporated, $45. You can find yours at hocus-pocus.com. I want to thank Hocus Pocus for allowing me to have this book so that I could do the review for you. Thanks. Bye.